Hey, Yo-Yo. All set for the woods. Chris, you know I don't like it when you call me Yo-Yo. Yeah, right. Did you pack long pants and long sleeve shirts, kiddo? What for? Seriously, kiddo, have you heard about vampire ticks in the woods? You know, the ones that fly silently at night and land on unsuspecting kids like you? What are you talking about, Chris? Oh, that's right. This is your first time in the big bad woods. I'm talking about ticks, little bro. You know, the little brown, black, or red bugs that crawl all over you and like to hide in dark places. And they just love the taste of blood, especially the blood of kids like you. You mean like the bugs we found on Bugsy? Hi, boys. I think Bugsy may have some ticks. Can you help me check him, please? Uh-oh. Look at these fat ticks. This is what they look like after they have their meal. It's called engorged. Watch how I carefully remove them. We'll put them in the sealable bag and get them tested. I think these are American dog ticks. Let's see what the internet says. Yep, it's an engorged American dog tick. Exactly. You see, vampire ticks crawl onto your skin when you brush by grass and leaves. Some types of ticks are so hungry that they will even hunt you down. And once they latch onto you, little brother, you're tick me. Really? Yes, little yo-yo. Then once the sucker is on you, it will crawl around till it finds a warm, moist, and dark place and settle in to suck you dry. <laughs> Boys, are you ready? Yeah, Dad. Hi, Jack. Hi, Sage. Hey, you okay? Yeah, it's just that I don't think I want to go on this camping trip. Why? You are so pumped about it. That's all you could talk about, even when I wanted to brag about my new guitar video game. You said camping trip this and camping trip that. Pretty boring, really. What's up now? I... it's just that my brother told me about the vampire ticks in the woods that would suck my blood and now I don't want to go. Of course, there are ticks in the woods, but they're not vampires, Jack. I think your brother is messing with your head. Really? Yeah, my family goes camping all the time. And once we went to a national park. We were deep in the woods, and I must have brushed against some plants or something. Because a couple of ticks decided to hitch a ride on me. Luckily, my dad bugged me about checking myself before we left for home, and I did find some on me. Hey, get it? He bugged me about the tick check? Man, am I funny. But didn't you wear a long sleeve shirt and pants like you were supposed to? My dad did say something about that, but I forgot to pack them. Aren't you afraid of going camping again? Nope, because I checked right away and we found them before they could hurt me. Next time, I'll wear a long sleeve shirt and pants. Besides, I love the outdoors. And I'm not going to let these little buggers scare me away. Hey, get it? Buggers? They should give me a TV show. Uh. Hey, I just remembered that my dad put those ticks in a plastic bottle and took pictures. I have them in my locker. Be right back. My dad and I looked up ticks on the internet. I found out that some ticks are so tiny you can barely see them. Ticks go through three stages of life, larva, nymph, and adult. Those that just hatch out of eggs, the larva ones, have six legs, but when they get older, they have eight legs. It's these that usually bite people and animals. Spiders have eight legs too, right? 
Yes, spiders and ticks are closely related, but I think spiders are much creepier. Wow, you seem to know a lot about ticks and bugs and stuff. My dad also told me that ticks love to camp out along the edges of paths, where they hang out on the low-lying branches waiting for a meal to come by. But they don't jump or fly. Oh, and they love to hang out by the water, too, because ticks need moisture to survive. They cannot stay out in the sun very long, or they will get dried out. Well, I'd think I'd freak out if I found a tick on me. Is there any way to keep them off? Sure. My mom and dad always bring bug spray when we go camping. We're supposed to put it on every few hours, but it smells yucky, and I only put it on when they remind me. Aren't you worried about tick bites? Nah, I think my parents worry too much about me. I told them not to bug me about the bugs. Come on, laugh. That was funny. Oh, okay, Sage. There's probably more to this than Sage knows. Dad, has a tick ever bit you? Tick? I don't think so, Jack. Why do you want to know? Sage, my friend from school, said she had ticks all over her body when she went camping. And I was wondering if tick bites hurt. No, not really. Tick bites are usually painless, and many people don't even notice the bite. That is why it's important to check for ticks. But sometimes you get a rash after the tick bites you. Sage said they were no big deal, and Chris told me that they were like vampires. I don't know who to believe. Are they dangerous? Well, I think you're only getting part of the story. Let's look it up right now in the store. Some ticks carry germs with them that they pass on to your bloodstream when they're feeding. The black-legged tick, also called deer ticks, are a little reddish-brown tick as small as a poppy seed in its nymph or teenage stage and a sesame seed in the adult stage. It can give you Lyme disease, which is a nasty thing to have. Some species of ticks can give you diseases with long names like anaplasmosis, babesiosis, tularemia, and bartonellosis. You ever heard of Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, Lyme Disease, or Colorado Tick Fever? Those are carried by ticks, too. I've heard of slime disease. That's Lyme, Jack, not slime. It's a very nasty disease to catch. A friend of mine had it once, and she had a fever, headache, and was tired all the time. Her muscles ached and she even had a skin rash. She thought she had the flu. But thank goodness she went to a doctor and found out what was wrong with her. He gave her medicine and after some time, it went away. So does this mean I can't have fun at the camp? No, Jack. You'll definitely have fun. But there are a few precautions you can follow to avoid being an easy meal for ticks. Try and avoid the edge of the woods, grassy areas and shrubs where ticks may be hanging out. Don't sit down in the woods, climb trees, or sit on fallen logs. Long pants and long sleeve shirts definitely help, but remember to tuck your pants into your boots or socks so that ticks can't find their way inside. Wear light-colored clothing so you can see them more easily if they get on you. And make sure you check all over your body for ticks after your trip through the woods. Dad, Sage said bug spray will keep the ticks away, but she said she doesn't always use it. What should we do? Well, Sage is right. Even if she doesn't follow her own good advice, Insect repellent is on our shopping list. Hmm. The book also says to have an adult remove the ticks. You should not grasp, squeeze, or twist the body of a tick. Grasp the tick close to the skin using the tweezers and pull them straight out. Apply antiseptic on the skin once you've removed them. Disinfect the tweezers and wash your hands thoroughly. Always remember, if you find a tick attached to you, tell a camp counselor so they can remove it right away. If that happens, let me know, and we'll call the doctor to see what he suggests to do about the tick bite. Ah, here we are. These insect repellents seem okay. And Jack, an adult always needs to read the directions to make sure they're applying it right, because repellents contain chemicals. You don't want to overuse this stuff or get it in your eyes or mouth. There is another spray that is stronger, but it can only be used on clothing. It's convenient because the clothes can be washed a number of times, and it will still protect against ticks. 
Jack, one more thing. Mom wants us to buy some light-colored long sleeve shirts and pants because you grew out of your old clothes. And it will help you easily spot ticks crawling on you. Once at the camp, check your body when you get back from places where ticks live. You need to check everywhere, but pay close attention to hairy areas and creases and folds like behind your knees. Hey Dad, I saw this movie where they flew an airplane over a farm field and sprayed chemicals to kill the bugs that were eating the corn. Why don't they spray bug-killing chemicals all over the woods to kill the ticks? Then we wouldn't have to do all this stupid stuff. Jack, you have to remember that pesticides, the chemicals you're talking about, can also kill useful insects and get into the water that people and other animals drink. Like it or not, ticks, which are arachnids, not bugs, and other creepy crawlers are part of our ecosystem. We have to be very careful not to make things worse. How would that make it worse? Do you remember when you got stung by the bees living under the deck? Yeah, that hurt a lot. You said we should kill all the bees, so nobody would ever get stung. If we did that, then there would be no bees to do important things like pollinate plants. That means we would have less food to eat. Oh, I never thought of that. Instead, people need to find ways to live with bees, ticks, and other natural things. That is what government agencies like the EPA do to protect the environment. EPA? The Environmental Protection Agency. Scientists and other specialists who are responsible for making sure people don't mess up the environment. Sounds like a very cool job. Yes, and a tough one too. They have to figure out how to balance the health of kids who want to go camping like you with the health of animals, plants, and even bugs that live in the woods and everywhere else. All right, Dad, thanks for the talk. I can't wait to go camping now. No matter what Chris says about vampire ticks, now I know how to avoid them. Hey, Chris, you can't frighten me anymore. Let me tell you what I got to know about ticks. Ticks do not fly, but they can crawl onto your skin. Ticks may carry germs with them, and when a tick bites, these germs enter your body. Black-legged ticks sometimes transmit Lyme disease, which is characterized by symptoms like fever, headache, fatigue, and skin rash. Wearing long sleeve shirts, long pants, and tucking the pants into your boots or socks helps to avoid ticks when crossing grassy areas and shrubs. Wearing light-colored clothes helps us to easily identify ticks when they crawl on us. Insect repellents keep them away. Frequent tick checks are the best and safest method of preventing tick-borne diseases.